The officer of a ship sees on his radar the paint of one target coming close. However, as the target draws near, he sees visually that there are two vessels, and not one as the paint on the radar screen was suggesting. How did this happen? Did his radar go faulty? Or, there are inherent limitations of the radar technology that the officer should know before he use a radar. There are certain limitations of every marine radar. These limitations are due to, the technological constraints of microwaves, design parameters adopted by the maker of every individual piece of radar, and the settings made by the operator. The radar of every ship bears certain technological limitations. If the microwaves were visible to human eyes, this is how it would appear when a radar is scanning the horizon. The microwaves coming out from the scanner have a vertical bandwidth and band a horizontal bandwidth to describe the area they are scanning. If two targets have a range separation between them which is lesser than the vertical bandwidth, or the angular separation which is lesser than the horizontal bandwidth, then they would create only one single paint on the monitor of the radar. The horizontal bandwidth and the vertical bandwidth are affected by the shape of the scanner. The IMO performance standards have decided that the flat tube scanner shape are the best for marine purpose, and therefore this shape is the only type approved scanners. The pulse repetition frequency of the PRF is the number of times the beam is generated in a unit second. Inside the beam, there are grains of microwave pulse of different lengths. A short pulse has smaller size of pulse length, and hence lesser energy in them. So they have higher attenuation and therefore they have smaller outreach. Whereas the long pulse grains have more energy and therefore they travel longer distance. A pulse is made of very rapidly vibrating particles in a three-dimensional cylindrical space the frequency and the wavelength of vibrations describe the energy they carry and energy describes the farthest outreach. There are two IMO approved frequency bands S band and the X band. The IMO wants at least one X band radar on every merchant ship.